Erica, undergraduate nutrition instructor by day, flight attendant by night, and my absolutely favorite sous chef here. What's your name? Hi, uh, Hero. Hero. Yeah. So today we're flipping the mold a little bit from our normal cooking show to share a product review of Hero's new suitcase. What a great opportunity to share our next travel. Where are we going? Japan! Do you know what flag it is? Oh, definitely! There we go! You ready? So we will take you through the next few days how the whole packing part goes and how everything else goes and share whether or not we give this product a thumbs up or a mm, Or what? what? What else is you So, let's go to Japan! Players like the space of this a long road. Oh god. All we had to do was pull this right here and that just, lifts up and drops the scooter. Can you start packing up? That sounds great. This suitcase has a nice little book pocket. What else are you gonna pack in here, Hero? My food! <laughs> okay. My pajamas! Shorts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have about four or five days worth of clothes in here, and we definitely have some more room for toys. What do you think? Do we have some room for toys? Uh huh. All right. Awesome. Maybe. All right. Perfect. Can you can you close it up for us? All right. So much room left over there, huh? That's interesting. That's something to know. Well, I guess ideally, when you have that scooter down, you're going to be riding on it, right? Let's test it out at the airport tomorrow, huh? Yeah! So here we are getting started uh, at 4 a.m. Uh, 4 a.m.? Yeah, but what did you think? Did this kind of help keep you moving, Hero? Uh, yes! I thought so too. It really made our trip to the airport a lot easier. And then when we got to the airport, it also made it really easier for him to maneuver around. However, it wasn't without difficulty. We definitely had to have a few conversations on just how far it was to go, right? Hmm? Yeah, but we ended up getting on the same page, don't yeah. you think, Hero? We're controlling our speed now. All right. But before getting such a suitcase, I really think it's definitely important to have these conversations with the kiddos, what's okay, as well as maybe be honest with whether or not your kiddo is going to be able to listen and follow the rules in the airport. But in terms of wielding the suitcase, it's very easy to use. It maneuvers well, as you saw, he was just going around it's in circles with great precision. It's not easy to pull through the airplane aisle. You had to be careful? Well, what about putting it under the seat on the airplane? It fit under for most airplanes, right? Yes, but it kind of didn't fit, right? Yeah, for two of the planes it didn't fit, but this one, our first airplane, it fit under the seat quite nicely. Thumbs up? Uh, yes! Thumbs up. Thumbs up? All right. And I love that when we got to Japan, you still had the energy to move around because of the suitcase. It can get a little bit difficult when we reach stairs and the parents have to take over the carrying because there's no carrying mm -hmm. handle. If you're strong, the kids can help too. But we did have to set clear boundaries on when it was safe to use the scooter and when it wasn't, such as at the train station, definitely not safe. 
Overall, the suitcase held up well, but there was one part that did break, just like the latch you saw right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, that kind of ended up interfering with how Hero was able to pull the suitcase. Oops, this spot broke too. Yeah, this spot right here broke a little bit too. It could have just been from rough usage, but if those handlebars slide off, be sure to just slide them back on so there's not extra wear and tear. But overall, after we discussed some of the rules of the road, the scooter was a great addition to our travels. Wouldn't you agree, Hero? Yeah! So be sure to stay up to date with our travels and Adventures in the Kitchen by pressing subscribe. Check the description for Amazon links.